And welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2002 Let's Play. And we arrive to the northeast state of New Hampshire, Loudon, New Hampshire, that is, to the New Hampshire International Speedway for the New England 300. For last race, Dale and R. Jr. dominated the race, but Kevin Harvick got by his number eight car. As Dale Jr. tried to get by him, he clips the apron and crashes out in contention for the win. But still held on for a top 10 finish as Kevin Harvick rolled on to his third victory of the season. Will Harvick go back to back? Or will Dale Jr. take another victory for himself? Or will others, like Gordon Stewart, Jared, and others, go for the win themselves? Time for some racing in New Hampshire, presented by EA Sports. Welcome to New Hampshire International Speedway in Loudoun, New Hampshire, for today's New England 300. Let's see how they'll line up for today's race. The number eight car, Dale Earnhardt Jr. The number eight of Dale Earnhardt Jr., the point leader, starts on the pole once again. And then we got the Roush boys of the 6 of Mark Martin and the 17 of Matt Kenseth. But the number 24 car, Jeff Gordon. The 24 of Jeff Gordon, the Atlanta winner, still desperate for his second win of the season. Would love to pull it off here at New Hampshire. The number 28 car, Ricky Rudd. There's Ricky Rudd, who lost the top 10 spot in the points after last race in Chicagoland. Would love to rebound with another good run as well as for a win as he starts fifth in his number 28 Ford. The number 20 car, Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart still desperate for his second win of the season. The same with Gordon. He starts in sixth in his number 20 Home Depot Pontiac. The number 27 car, Kenny Wallace. The 27 of Kenny Wallace is going to be in this race. He starts in the number seven spot tonight. The number nine car, Bill Elliott. And then it's Bill Elliott's Dodge number nine and eight. The number 26 car, Jimmy Spencer. The 26 of Jimmy Spencer is also going to be in this event. He starts in the number nine spot tonight. The number two car, Rusty Wallace. Rusty Wallace, the number two point man, starts in 10th place tonight in his number two team, Rusty Ford. The number 99 car, Jeff Burton. There's Jeff Burton in the 99 car in 11th. Then 12th the place is the number 18 car, of Bobby Labonte. The number 40 car, Charlie Marlin. The 40 of Sterling Marlin starts in 13th. The guy who was on the bubble of the top 10 points over Ricky Run got past him after last race at Chicago Lane. There's Dale Jarrett, the two time Let's Play winner. He's got a lot of ground to make up in his number 88 Ford, starting in 14th place. The, number 55 car, Bobby Hamilton. the 55 of Bobby Hamilton's going to be in this race. He starts in 15th place, ahead of the three guys. And they are the 10 of Johnny Benson in 16th, followed by the 22 of Ward Burton. And rounding out the field, the number 29 car, Kevin Harvick. His last race winner, Kevin Harvick, with his third win of the season at the Chicago Land Speedway. He's got a lot of ground to make up to go for his fourth win of the season, his second win in a row here at New Hampshire International Speedway. Can he do it from last? Let's go racing at New Hampshire to find out, to see who will win the New England 300. The green flag is out, and we're on in Loudoun, New Hampshire. And already, Mark Martin showing no time to waste to go for the race lead as he takes it away from Dale Earnhardt Jr. coming off of turn number two. But Dale Jr. fights back. Oh, no, he puts him in the wall as he goes into turn number three. Now, Mark Martin showing, hey, I still got a shot at this. Oh, he bumps him, letting him know he didn't appreciate the contact. But Dale Earnhardt Jr. still holds on for five more bonus points. Now, oh, in the wall. Now Mark Martin has the lead. Jeff Gordon trying to get around Matt Kinza for third. Mark Martin has the lead, but Dale Earnhardt Jr. is chasing after him. Darn in the wall. Mark Martin led that lap and picks up five bonus points. Did hit the wall in turns one and two, but I hit the wall in three and four. I, mean, I might have a shot at Mark Martin right here. Boom, there's the bump. And Mark goes in the wall and Dale and R. Jr. retakes the lead away off of turn number four. Mark Martin needs some help from Roush teammate Matt Kenseth, as well as the Chevrolet 24 of Jeff Gordon. 
but Gord knows he wants to win the race for himself. Oh, there's contact between the eight and the six. Wall racing for the lead. Uh oh, Gordon's in trouble. Oh, look out. Near contact. Nearly three wide going into turn three. And we have a new race leader, and that's Matt Kenseth in the 17. Looking for five points. Oh, and there's the bump. Matt Kenseth will get five points for leading that lap. Oh, and there's the bump by Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Matt Kenseth. And the door slam. And Earnhardt Jr. takes the lead away from Kenseth once again off of turn two. Now he's side by side with Mark Martin. Into turn three, there's the bumper. Like playing bumper cards here in New Hampshire, and look out, more trouble. Mark Martin goes around in turn four. Kenseth leads, Gordon second, Bobby Labonte third, Kenny Wallace fourth, Dale Earnhardt Jr. fifth, followed by Rusty Wallace in sixth. Oh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. bumps Kenny Wallace for fourth. Takes it away, but now here comes Kenny's brother, Rusty, to take fifth place away. As Dale Earnhardt Jr. goes after the 18 of Bobby Labonte for third, while Gordon goes after Kenseth for the race lead. Oh, Dale Jr.'s got the bumper on Bobby Labonte, and look out! And now Bobby goes for a spin. Around goes the 18. Crash on the front straightaway. Matt Kenseth is leading the pack. Jeff Gordon is in second place with one more spot to go. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is hanging tough in third. Rusty Wallace occupies the number four spot. Dale Earnhardt Jr. takes the number two spot away from Matt Kenza. Excuse me, Jeff Gordon. We got it. Oh, and Jeff Gordon just pulled a slide job on Dale Earnhardt Jr. to take the lead away and get five bonus points. We are now halfway done, and now Gordon wants to hold on for his second win of the season. As Matt Kenza tries to take second place away from Dale Earnhardt Jr. Couldn't take it, but now here comes Rusty for third. Fighting back on the outside. He's got the third place spot in hand. Oh, oh no, Jeff Gordon's around. Crash in turn three. Now Kenseth and Wallace are side by side. Nearly three wide going into turn number one. Rusty Wallace has the lead. Matt Kenseth second. Dale Earnhardt Jr. third. Oh, now Matt Kenseth spins. Takes Dale Jarrett with them. Oh, Dale Jarrett hits the wall off of turn number two. And Rusty's boots scooting boogies away from Dale Earnhardt Jr. To get to six laps to go. And we got near contact between Dale Jr. and Kenny Wallace. And puts Kenny Wallace in the wall. These guys continue to race like it's the final lap. But Dale Earnhardt Jr. knows it's time to capture Rusty Wallace for the lead. Rusty Wallace did get five points for leading that lap. But now we are approaching five laps to go as the top two guys in the points continue to battle for the lead here at New Hampshire. Five more times around. Here comes Dale Jr. back into turn one. On the move on Rusty Wallace in the number two car. He's there. He's hungry. He's coming. Gives him the bumper. Oh, trouble. And around goes the two. Rusty crashes into turn number three. Oh, look out. A near spin for Dale Earnhardt Jr. In the wall. Rusty's out of it. Four more times around for Dale Earnhardt Jr. Now Benson's got the lead. Oh, Dale Jr. bumps him. Shoves him up the track. Oh, no! Jr. saves it after a contact from Bobby Labonte's number 18. Now Bobby's got a shot at the win. Mark Martin goes for a spin once again. Mark Martin spins again. Three to go. Bobby Labonte led that lap and picks up five bonus points. But look at Dale Jarrett go. Dale Jarrett has the lead, but can he hold on for his third victory of the season? Oh, here comes Dale Jr. with the bumper. 
Into turn three, these two battle side by side. It's now become the Dale and Dale show. As they battle for the lead. Oh, he shoves Dale Jarrett to the wall. These guys know time's running out. Two laps to go. Two more times around in New Hampshire. These guys know it's time to go for the victory. Dale Jarrett retakes the lead away from Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale Jarrett continues to bump Dale Jarrett going into turn three. These two make contact and oh! Near contact. Oh no, Dale Jarrett at the wall. Bobby Labonte has the lead. Now Bobby wants his win. He's got one more shot, four more corners to get it done. Dale Jarrett bumps him, shoves him in the wall. Here comes Dale Jarrett. He knows he's got a shot. He's got a chance. Oh, Dale Jarrett door slam. Oh! Door slam. Oh, they're playing bumper cars. Oh, they touch, they touch, they touch, they touch. Jarrett's got it. Dale Jarrett wins in a photo finish over Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jarrett got it. All right. What a finish. By two one hundredths of a second. Nothing but a crash fash and numerous lead changes. Yeah, Gordon slid me into the wall and I accidentally gave him the bumper. I mean, I barely touched Gordon right there. I didn't mean to do that to wreck all these cars. I stood my ground, I held my line, and they kept a cut they kept cutting across right in front of my nose. We'll wait for the photo finish as they as it comes up. Here it comes. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Right there is the photo finish. By just that much. That Dale Jarrett beats Dale and our junior by that much. By four one thousands of a second so dale jarrett leads just one lap and that's the final lap enough for 11 lead changes by seven different leaders what a race so dale jarrett from 14th to the win dale and our junior second johnny benson third bobby labonte fourth jeff gordon rebounds from that crash earlier in the race but still comes home fifth followed by tony stewart jimmy spencer rusty wallace ricky rudd and jeff burton the top 10 spencer takes home another 146 points Jeff's older brother, Ward, finishes at 11th, and last race winner, Kevin Harvey, got 12. Kenny Wallace got 13th, takes home another 124 points. Bill Elliott, 14th. Mark Martin, 15th. Bobby Hamilton, 16th. Sterling Marlin, 17th. Matt Kenseth, dead last. Bobby Hamilton takes another 115 points with him. The points continue to shuffle. Dale Jarrett's win boosts him up to six of the points. And back into the top 10 in points once again is Ricky Rudd passing Sterling Marlin after Marlin suffered his troubles at New Hampshire. Kenny Wallace moves up to 408 points. Jim Spencer to 400. Bobby Hamilton to 253. The next race is the Pennsylvania 500 at Pocono. 